All right. Um, I was going to do a little comparison between two Harbor Freight guns. This is the purple Harbor Freight gun that you can find tons of videos on YouTube about. Uh, on sale, you can get it for $9.99. It has a 1.4 tip. And uh, there's tons of videos out there on uh, how to get these cleaned up, fixing them a little bit. Uh, it's, a, it's a low quality gun that works very well. I've used it to shoot primer and it does a great job. I used it to shoot some um, enamel. I painted uh, my grill with it, that kind of thing. Um, but I was going to paint a car and it did a good job with the primer. But I wanted something that gave me a finer, better mist once I did the, the the base coat and the clear and I read some good reviews on their uh, professional model uh, which is actually only about forty eight dollars with a coupon um, one thing I didn't find a whole lot of videos about it on YouTube there's a couple of videos uh, but there's none really comparing the two and once you have them both uh, you can see that the quality between them is it's just night and day, uh, very different guns. Um, so the purple gun, tons of reviews out there, tons of videos. Uh, I recommend watching them because um, what they say is true. Once you take the gun apart, um, what you're going to have is uh, they have a silicone sealant uh, here, literally like caulking all in there and you have to take this out clean it all out uh, if not it's going to be um, all over your paint you're going to get fish eyes from that silicone or even you're going to get particles from that silicone uh, breaking off uh, one of the videos I saw uh, kind of shows you how to take it apart and um, and clean that out uh, what I did I took it apart took a little Dremel with a with a wire wheel on it cleaned it up and then I put Teflon tape on it on that video um, the person doing it does a great job but he says to remove this to go ahead and um, cover this up get some pliers and remove it and I was really skeptical about that because I do not want to damage the threads uh, so <laughs> once I uh, looked around I found that in there there's actually a uh, a hex shape so if you take a one quarter inch wrench it'll actually work well with it and then you can pull it out and not damage the threads so difference between the, these guns the, the quality is just night and day so uh, the adjustment knob for the um, the paint flow. This is like a chrome steel. It does the job. Not very pretty. This is, I believe this is aluminum, but it's very smooth. Great machining. The knob just feels uh, like a quality knob. On your nozzle here, on the purple gun, it is. Uh, it looks like it's chromed brass with a chrome steel collar and then if you look you're gonna see that you have I don't know if, it, if it's visible here on the on the video but you have uh, four small holes horizontally uh, by the main by the main um, uh, outlet there and then on the sides you have one large hole there on each side it's very heavy um, actually the brass the machining on the brass is actually very smooth and the holes themselves are actually very smooth so not too bad now when you come to the professional gun this aluminum has a nice anodized aluminum collar um, when you look here you're gonna see a lot more holes for airflow which is gonna give you a finer mist you have uh, two vertical holes there and then three on each side very small holes so you have a total of uh, eight uh, passages there and then on the side um, you know this is kind of stepped uh, rather than smooth like the other one and you have two on each side uh, gives you a much finer um, mist 
Uh, same with this um, here you can see that's where I put the Teflon tape and removed all the all the silicone caulking because that, that, there's no other word for it it's actually like caulking and on this one just much much better tolerances much um, much better made the machining the threads everything is just so much nicer all right and what I found is that uh, I, I I did um, the duplicolor paint shop system because I was being cheap and it's very watery and it sprays great through this gun actually so very 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 nice gun uh, feels really good in the hand smooth 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 trigger uh, big difference is that this is rated for uh, 12 um, 12 cubic uh, feet per minute, so uh, 12 CFFM um, at 40 PSI, whereas the purple gun is 6. So you have to make sure you have a compressor that keeps up with this one. I actually have a 26 gallon uh, compressor. Uh, it says it's, it's uh, 5 horsepower, but it's a 110, and I've heard you can't get 5 horsepower from 110, but that's what it says. And it's rated at about uh, 7 or 8 um, CFM at 40, and it kept up fine, I think, because of the, the decent size uh, tank on it. Um, so the other thing is the professional gun, the better gun, comes with the, the little tool. The purple gun, the $10 one, does not. And um, the cups are actually very similar some people uh, actually say they're the same but they're not um, they're the same size and they both screw on both guns uh, this one's actually a little nicer has a dome top um, and another difference I found is that the inside diameter of where the flow the uh, paint will flow through here and here is actually different even though the outer diameter and the threads are the same this it's a little larger. Um, the the guns, the gun, the professional one came with a little filter that actually goes in the top. And if you buy replacement filters at Harbor Freight, that's what you're going to get. And it goes right in there. Okay. Now, when you try to put it in the purple gun, it will not fit. It's too big. Okay, so if you buy replacement uh, filters or you buy a filter for the purple gun at Harbor Freight, you're going to get this one. And if you have the purple gun, it's not going to fit. Okay, so that's the two big differences. Um, another thing, just a, a tip that uh, I heard, I hear tons of people saying that this will leak when you put it on there. And that the little plastic washer it brings, it's a joke. Well, tell you what, I I didn't I kind of didn't see the little plastic washer, so I've never used it. I found it later, laying in the box, and it doesn't leak. So if you have a leak problem, don't use the the little plastic washer that comes with it. And uh, neither one of the two guns has has leaked through there without the washer. So the washer is probably actually more of a cause of the problem. So that's uh, pretty much it. I, I, like I said, I uh, spray some uh, base coat and clear coat with this gun on a hood and trunk, and they came out really, really nice. I had a little bit of orange peeling, but I think that's more uh, my technique rather than the gun. Um, never really painted uh, a car before. Um, and, you know, after a little bit of uh, wet sanding and buffing, it actually came out very nice. So for about $48, um, if you're going to do a little backyard car painting project and you're not, you know, wanting to spend two, three hundred dollars on a gun, um, I think it's a, it's a good option. All right. If you have any questions, any comments, any experiences with these guns, uh, just leave some comments below and, uh, any questions, I'll try to answer them. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks.